are you? Hold on, let me. This are you? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would sort of do some bonus Squishmallow content. I don't normally do this, but yesterday I tried doing a PO box opening and it just didn't end up working out. The video didn't work out, but I got some new squishes in my collection and I really wanted to show you guys which ones I got because I'm really pumped about them. So this is just sort of a bonus squish video, like I said. So let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, I have Derek's who is this monstrous dino. Um, I took his tag off, I still have it somewhere, but you know what, I'll go get it and I'll read it to you guys. So, my boy Derek's card says, and I love that the bigger the Squishmallow, the bigger the name card. So his tag says, have you met Derek's? Derek's may be a loud, <laughs> he may be a little loud and boisterous, but he gives the best bear hugs. Derek's is a great builder and carpenter and he creates wonderful custom furniture. What can Derek's build for you? So he is the new one that I keep on my bed because he's huge. I've wanted this one before and I've been really tempted to buy him, but I just have never got him for myself. So I got him in my PO box, which I was very excited about because He's the perfect squish to sleep with because I sleep better with the big squishes. I just drape my arm around them. And fun fact about me, when I sleep, I like to like curl in my wrist, but then it has given me like awful wrist pains. So it helps if I have a squish to just drape my arm around. So anyways, Derek's is the new guy that I keep on my bed. Uh, the next squish that I got is Babs and she's like a blue jay, I would say. She's really cute. Um, I don't think I have many birds. I think she's the only one that I have. But her card says, meet Babs. She loves superheroes, sci-fis, and created her own superhero, Captain Blueberry. Captain Blueberry is a regular bird by day and solves crime by night. Now Babs just needs to create a sidekick. What should she call them? Babs is, let's see, she is a seven and a half inch Molo. She has cute little rosy cheeks, I like that. I think that's really fun and her like wings are fluffier than the rest of her body. She's cute and like I said, I think she's the only bird that I have now, which is pretty cool to me. Then I have Miss Dory. And if you guys have gotten any of the Disney ones, you know that their tag is different and they don't have a, uh, bio in them because we all know Dory and we know what Dory's like. Her face is cool. She has like embroidered freckles on her nose just like she has in the movies. It's funny to see her like straight on because normally in the movie like you kind of see her from the side a little bit or even straight on she looks so much more different but when they make her in stuffed animal form they definitely have different ways about like when going about it. Like in the movie, she's a lot slimmer, but if she was straight on like this thick and her eyes were here, that would be super kind of weird, I think. So I think they did a good job of capturing Dory's vibes. I think she's really cute and Dory was one of my favorite characters in Finding Nemo. My absolute favorite was Crush, the stone sea turtle. I absolutely loved him. Him and Squirt were so cute. Those two were definitely my favorite characters. It'd be cool if they made Squishmallows out of them. But Dory was a very close second because I felt like I could really relate to her. Kind of flighty all over the place. Even as a kid, I felt that way. So, kind of dig her. Then we have Miss Hello Kitty. This is the classic Hello Kitty that I know and love. And her tag, too, doesn't say anything. It seems like when they do collabs with already established characters. They don't put bios on their tags, which is cool. But I really like Hello Kitty because when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Hello Kitty and my room themes even Hello Kitty. Target to me was the Hello Kitty store. That's what I called it because that's where we got all my Hello Kitty themed things for my room, which was really cool that my mom even gave me a room theme of any kind. I really thought like now, I think that's really cool. So I appreciate Hello Kitty and she is still one of those characters that I really like just cause she reminds me so much of my childhood. I'm not like a Hello Kitty fanatic where everything I have has to be Hello Kitty. But I, when I see her, I do get a very nostalgic type of feeling. And I don't know, she holds a special place in my heart for sure. And then after talking about Hello Kitty, we have to talk about Patch from 101 Dalmatians. 
So when I was little, before I had the Hello Kitty room and before I had my Clifford room, I had my 101 Dalmatian room. Actually, the theme for one of my birthdays was 101 Dalmatians. I had to think about dogs because we couldn't have dogs. So I thought cartoon dogs were like the next best thing. And 101 Dalmatians was so cool to me. Even when my sister and I got older, we still loved the movie. And my favorite one was Patch's Big Adventure, where he meets that one dog that's like a superhero dog on TV and then like he meets him in real life and here he's just an actor. Anyways, that totally derailed, but um, I like Patch. He's got blue eyes. I sort of feel like they could have done a better job making them feel like the specific Dalmatians in 101 Dalmatians, but he's really cute nonetheless. I like the red collar that they gave him, and honestly, I just love him so much. I'm a dog person through and through, and even my cartoon dogs are still some of my favorites. <laughs> Then we have Jasmine and Abu. Abu is a little guy and he's connected to Jasmine who also has her braid down the back. And Abu has his tail as well as the cute little hat that he wears and his little vest. I think this hat has a more specific name. I unfortunately just don't know it. Um, so these two are really cool. I love her eyelashes. I like that they kept her like outfit as a two piece. I think they did a really great job of creating Jasmine as a Squishmallow. I'm excited about these two. I really, really like the Disney ones. I'm not a Disney adult, but I like will still watch a Disney movie on any random day. Like I have Disney Plus, I'll watch movies, TV shows, like it's no big thing to me just to turn one on and have it in the background. It's definitely a comfort type of thing. And last but not least, we have Flounder. So now I have two fishes, which is really cool. I liked Flounder. I thought he was such a cool friend in The Little Mermaid, and The Little Mermaid was my favorite princess. I think it went her and then Cinderella, to be honest. I like Cinderella's dress, but I was obsessed with like swimming and water. When I was a kid, I loved being in the water. So I think it's really fun to now have a character from The Little Mermaid. And they gave him the little rosy cheeks and his eyebrows, which I think is super cool because that's kind of a big part of him. He's very expressive with his eyebrows. So those are the squishes that I got in my peel box, but just wait, there's more. We also got a Squishmallow Mystery Bag. I was gonna wait and open this in my next Squish video, but honestly, I can't wait. So we're gonna open it now. it's like more of a marbling honestly on the back Ooh, yep she smells like that artificial fruit kind of flavor like in a lot of candies I like that her eyelashes and all her facial features are pink and she's got a fuzzy tummy that is so cute I don't even know her name I'll have to look it up but these are all the Squishmallows that I got in my P.O. box and have added to my collection. If you guys like this little bonus content, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. Don't forget the, to like this video. And if you feel like it, subscribe to my channel. Please don't feel like you have to, but if you wanna see more Squish content, I'll be here. Uh, I post videos normally on every Wednesday. Those are my Squish hunting videos, but I'm kind of thinking now when I get more Squishes like for my own collection, maybe I'll do more videos kind of like this because this is kind of fun just to sit and talk about Squishes. <laughs> but that is everything that's getting added to my collection. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for sending me these Squishes. I am super excited about this di dinosaur, this big guy. He's already slept with me once and I gotta say, He's a really good sleeping partner. <laughs> I didn't mean that in a creepy way. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!